Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is President Trump in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, last year, he visited uh, Snap-on Tools, uh, uh, right. employer in, in Kenosha. Um, he used that stop to announce the Buy American, Hire American executive order. And during his speech that day, uh, President Trump promised, quote, a big infrastructure bill uh, that would be, quote, constructed with American hands, American steel, and American tools. He claimed his administration would be taking bold new steps to follow through on his Buy American, Hire American pledge. Um, I want to ask, uh, starting with you, Secretary Perry, can you direct me to the bold new Buy America provisions in the uh, infrastructure blueprint? <clears throat> Senator, thank you. Uh, you just reminded me of what a, not be quick, but a fabulous state you live in. Uh, I tried to recruit Harley Davidson, Trek, and Matthews Bowes all to come to the state of Texas, and I was unsuccessful in any of those. <laughs> so uh, you, you speak about Snap-on as another one. Uh, but the, the, the issue here, I, I think what the President was laying out, is this bold vision. Uh, he's leaving it up and understands the, the role that Congress plays. So no? No, the answer is yes. It is uh, prevailing. Okay. It is overriding prevailing authority that impacts every single department in the government. Uh, can you point to anything in the infrastructure It's a prevailing plan? authority already. It doesn't need to be. In, it's a prevailing authority. Bold new steps are? It is to emphasize this existing requirement, which has not been emphasized in the past. And, That's and what Senator, I, th I think with the, the idea that we can go from uh, 10 to 2 years on permitting is such a powerful message. Uh, and as I shared earlier, when I talked to so businessmen... So let me, let me stop you, because first of all, is it true that this document makes no reference to Buy America policy? Secretary Perry? No I, think it, I think it implicitly talks about Buy America. Does it explicitly? I think it does. I think it clearly so you think says, it does? You, I, I would appreciate yes, a page reference afterwards, uh, Secretary Perdue. I'm, I'm not aware. Secretary Acosta. Senator, the, the Buy America executive, yes or no. the Buy America executive order is directed at all departments, and therefore all our actions, including our actions with respect to this, encompass that executive order. Certainly, um, if, if it needs to be more explicit, we can discuss that at another time. We will. Secretary Ross. My answer is the same as Secretary Acosta. Okay. <laughs> and Secretary Chow, you've already... Uh, indicated. I want to ask um, uh, on page 21 through 22 and page 27, uh, there's the provisions on uh, new flexibility. Um, when you talk about amending titles 23 and 49 to provide targeted flexibility pertaining to the application of federal requirements, I would note that Buy America provisions are in both titles 23 and 49. Is it your position that you are not uh, uh, advocating flexibility with regard to Buy America what provisions? What document are you referring to? Your blueprint on infrastructure. So that's what you're, well, I didn't know. You were referring to something that I, I couldn't see. Oh. Well, um, is it your contention that these those are would examples never be of waived? what can happen? And so, no, the president is quite clear about Buy America, High America. So that you are saying it would never be waived to give states additional flexibility? No, waivers are given, but much less so than in other previous administrations. So this could contemplate uh, disregarding the Buy America provisions no, to waivers. add flexibility. Is that what you're saying? Waivers are given on a case-by-case -case basis, but much less so in this administration, and I know from experience. Um, there's waivers within the Buy American provisions. I'm asking whether you would totally disregard the Buy America law, no, given of course the language not. on page 21 and 22, and I'd also refer, refer you to the language with regard to water infrastructure on page 27. 
There are senators who call the department asking for waivers because of certain circumstances, lack of American pro, uh, uh, productive I you, capacity. I, I think you misunderstand. Uh, mm -hmm. The Buy American law allows waivers. Right. I'm asking whether you are, when you uh, use the language in this blueprint, um, amending the law to provide the targeted flexibility to the states pertaining to the application of federal requirements such as Buy America. So what is the question? Does this language contemplate uh, disregarding Buy no, America? No, it does not. It just gives flexibility. Okay. I would appreciate your commitment to add clarity to that because not only does the document not reference Buy America once, um, it also appears to proactively suggest that infrastructure projects could avoid Buy America requirements. That's certainly not the this. intent at all. Okay, the clarity on that would be very important. Um, I have uh, one uh, uh, additional question for Secretary Ross. Um, in terms of your analysis on the health of the U.S. steel industry, and you've had the uh, question in the context of the tariffs, right. what impact would robust Buy America policies in all of our in infrastructure projects have on the health of the U.S. steel industry? Well, it would help it. It would also help every other industry that's a supplier to those projects. So I'm, I'm a big supporter of Buy America, Hire America. All right. Thank you.